Okay, so in this video, I'll be talking about my main, like, the my main, as in, like, the puzzle that I use for these WCA events, like, 2x2 two two, through 7x7, seven seven, Clock Pyramid Magic, Mega Minx, um, Square One, and all that. So, start off by in order from 2x2 two two through 7x7. Seven seven. First of all, I have my Wit Eden 2x2. Two two. I got it from Alibaba or AliExpress. Um, and the method I use is layer by layer, but, uh, thinking about switching to C-pop, C or, like, not C-pop, but C CLL, or, um, Ortega, yeah, and I average around 10 seconds with this, next would be 3x3, three three. now 3x3, three three, it's sort of a mix between several different 3x3. Three three. My main main 3x3 three three is my Dying DNT. Got it from, I think, Cube Depot. You know, I remember. But, yeah. I use layer by layer, but for first layer and then the middle layer, I sort of do it a little bit weirder than the beginner's layer by layer. I do it across. Then corners, like, into corner first, like, just take away the other, um, the other four corners. Do not insert them all at once, like, I insert one corner, and do not go from, like, cross, then into one corner, then the next, and then the middle layer edge. I do, like, some form of insert edges in sort of like F2L in a weird way where after I do the cross I insert one corner and then find the edge that would be paired up in that slot and then do that and then work on the next slot in that form and then for OLLM PLL for the last layer I do fix the cross so that all the pieces are flipped correctly and then I flip the corners and then match up the corners so that they're all in the correct spot then match up the edges that's my layer by layer method for 3x3 three three. and I also use this Dan Lin Hoi yeah which it's kind of slow for right now but before I use the F2 as my main main. And this one, I'm sort of slowly working on getting it to my main main. I re-stickered it with KOII set of stickers that I found at a competition. My last competition, the Indiana 2011, I mean 2012. Where it was sort of towards the end of the day. I was, we were all packing up. And I just found this set of stickers lying on the ground, and I was like, hmm, hey, I'll take them, I'm, I'll use them, because before I was stickered then, the stickers were in very bad condition, yeah, and so, yeah, I got this from Cube Depot, I think, I cannot remember, because I bought it, like, about almost a year ago, like, a year and five months ago, it was very close to the release, of the Dian Zanty and it has the old plastic in it yeah it's one of the old plastic um Lin Hoys and then 4x4 four four is Zheng Xiao got it from Ali, Alibaba Aliexpress and uh, the main method I use on it is reduction but, I'm slowly, um, taking reduction as not my main method and bringing in my main method. Like, not my main method, but the method I created. And I 
posted a video on how to solve the 4x4 with the method. And I posted speed solving. And a lot of people were thinking, nah, nah, this method won't work that well. It will, it will work, but not that well. It's like, not going to be that good. You won't be seeing old records uh, broken with this method. But, if you think about it, think about when Wu was introduced and how slow it was at the time it was introduced. And think about it now. People have been getting sub 10 with Wu. Yeah. And then, the method that I created, I want people to think about it and just see ways that I can improve the method and they could use it and imply their own method, like own algorithms to it to help make this a better method. Yeah. And then for 5 of 5, Shang Xiao um, got this from Amazon and I love it. It's like a really good 5 of 5. Even though I modded it and then it's now clickier than it originally was. But it feels like, especially when you're moving like these layers, it feels like you're sliding on ice. Yeah, you're sliding on ice. And that's how smooth it is. That's how I want a cube to feel. Like when you're sliding it like this slowly, it doesn't catch that catch like the boom, boom, boom. I don't like you like that. I want them to be smooth when you're slowly turning them. Yeah. And then for 6x6, I don't have a 6x6. Well, I did, but it's now a truncated hexagon die pyramid. And I tried modding it using pin mod. Using pi mod and pins wouldn't work. Now I go 7x7. Seven seven. I have... This VQ brand 7x7 seven seven that, has, that has an adjustable core. I cannot remember who I bought it from, but I bought it from so from the from someone at the Indiana 2012 competition that I was recently at. The person I think was John, and he's the um, Cardinals fan. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, for Meg, for Pure Minx, I'll go over Pure Minx. I have this, um, Tommy Brian Pure Minx. It's okay, but the tips, or the, like, I cannot get the tips off to adjust the tension, and it pops a lot. And on my last competition, the Indiana 2012, the last two saw of this were like DNF because uh, this popped. Yeah. And I got it at a play market for $5. Which I think that was like a really good deal. For clock. Um, I have one but it's not really working that well. Square one. Not a working square one at the moment. Megaminx, I have my beloved Diane Megaminx. I love it. It's like the god of Megaminxes. It combines the, like a Shang Tsao, like my Shang Tsao 5 of 5 with this super smooth gliding on the ice feel with the, with like a dying 3x3. Three three. You can hear the clickiness of it. And it's just godly good. I also got this on Alibaba with my 4x4 um, four four and 2x2. Two two. And then for one handed, I used an F2, which I got 
I'm not sure who I got it from, but I got it at the Indiana 2011 competition, the one last year. Yeah, and when I bought it, it had the original F2 stickers on it, but they were like so, so scratched up that the sticker, you could barely even um, tell a difference between one color and another. Yeah, this is my main, main one-handed, um, 3x3, three three. and then for my secondary one-handed one is my mini Zancy, 42mm. Now, if Alibaba didn't mess up my order, I would make my, this mini Zancy my main one-handed cube. Yeah. But, yeah. Since Alibaba messed up on my order, it's like, uh, yeah. And if you notice, a lot of my cubes are white. Um, except for my Lin Hoy, my, um, Lin Hoy, my, um, 4x4, Tang Xiao 4x4, and Giant Mega Mink. They're black, but I prefer white. I like the way white looks on a puzzle, but it doesn't really make a big difference on how I solve the puzzle. And now, with my piercing, I really had no choice of choosing a color. Neither was my 7x7. Seven seven. Yeah. But I prefer white V-Cube 7x7 seven seven better because they look more like a V-Cube than the black one. The white plastic V-Cube look way better in my opinion because they just look like they're more higher quality and better looking. Yeah. But as for going for a color preference, eh, it doesn't really matter that much for me as long as I have a really good super smooth puzzle that has really good um, stickers that I can recognize almost instantly without having to like sort of look at them very closely and saying, wait, is this a blue or a green or is this a red or an orange or something like that? If this cube doesn't have, the cube has the faulty sticker where it's really hard to identify the colors on it, then I say, no, I'm not using this. Yeah.